Hello friends, how are you? So I hope you all are doing great. So let's continue with our discussion on material costing. And uh, we have covered about the levels of inventory. We have covered about economic order quantity. We have done some questions on economic order quantity. And I, I hope you people have revised those concepts, right? And uh, you are practicing from the ICI material and our handbooks. So this much if you have done, that is good for you. Okay, now we have a small topic in hand for this lecture that is determination of optimum safety stock level uh, and we call it as the stock out cost topic also like I told you in the last lecture. Okay, determination of optimum safety stock. Now try to understand this term safety stock. When we talk about this term sir safety stock, what is meant by this safety stock sir? See you must have uh, seen in your homes also uh, your uh, mother and your father, your parents always keep some money as uh, you know, a safety in a separate place. Why they keep this? Sir, to meet any emergency or something like that, isn't it? Now let's take the example of those potatoes. Your mother will, or the floor, your mother will always keep some stock aside as a safety stock, right? So that in case you are not able to bring the stock in time, the fresh stock you are not able to bring in time, then that safety stock can be used. Similarly, what a businessman is doing, every business always keeps some stock as the safety stock, right? Now the problem is, sir, what quantity should be kept as a safety stock? There are two problems with this. With the safety stock, there is uh, there are two problems now. If we talk about safety stock, there are two considerations. One is, if we keep excessive stock, then what will happen? If we keep excessive stock, right? And the se uh, stock, sorry. And the second problem is, the second problem is shortage. The second problem is shortage, sir. Right? The second problem is shortage. Now, if you have the excessive stock, what will be the scenario, sir? In case of excessive stock, you your carrying cost will increase. Obviously, sir, carrying cost will increase. Obviously, you will have to carry that material, the excessive material that you are keeping as the safety stock, right? You are keeping as the safety stock, your carrying cost will increase. Okay. And if there is a shortage, what will happen? Sir, obviously there is a shortage and you will lose out on customers. You will lose on customers. Lose out on customers. Right? So these are the two scenarios. Now what you have to do is you have to find out a way. You have to find out a optimum level of safety stock where this carrying cost and this is known as stock out cost that if there is a shortage, if there is a stock out, then you will lose out on the customers and it will be your opportunity cost, sir. So you have to find a way where your carrying cost plus the stock out cost is minimum. Clear? Let's read. A person may decide upon the optimum level of safety stock to be kept during the year by computing the annual carrying cost of the safety stock level. That means whatever stock we'll be keeping, we have to incur the carrying cost for that stock, right, sir? And the annual shortage or the stock out cost. The second cost is the if we are not having the optimum level of stock, if we are not having the safety stock, then it will be a shortage or the stock out cost, right? That may be in the form of losing customers. Clear? Next, an optimum safety stock level is the one where the sum of annual carrying cost and the annual shortage cost is the minimal. If high level of safety stock units are kept, then it will result in a high carrying cost, but low shortage cost and vice versa, right? So if you are carrying more than the required quantities, then it will increase your carrying cost, although the shortage cost will be less, right? And in case you... Uh, carry less than the required quantity, then your stock out cost will increase and your carrying cost will decrease. So you have to find a balance between the two. Okay, you will have to find a balance between the two where the carrying cost and the stock out cost in total is minimal. Right. So we have one practical problem on this and uh, question number 10. This is from your ICAI module only. This is from your ICAI module. Okay, 
Messrs Tyro Tubes trades in four wheeler tires and tubes it stocks sufficient quantities of tires for almost every year in the year end 2017-18 the report of the sales manager revealed the stock out data as follows right stock out of tires 100 number of times 2 that means sir there was a demand of 100 tires two times it happened that there was a demand of 100 tires right then 80 out of 100 times five times there was a demand of 80 tires then 50 20 10 and 0 messrs tyro tube loses 150 per unit due to the stock out and spends rupees 50 per unit on the carrying cost of inventory right so that means the carrying cost per unit is 50 and the stock out cost per unit is 150 okay determine the optimum safety stock level So now what you have to do is first you have to identify first you have to identify the probabilities here what is the probability that this company will be getting uh, the demand for 100 tires 2 out of 100 right that means 0.02 right what is the probability that the company will get an order for 80 tires 5 times that means out of 100 5 times 0.05 what is the probability that the demand will be 50 tires 10 times out of 100 that means 0.10 10% right 20 times out of 100 0.20 and 0.30 right and 33 0.33 so this is the probability of getting this much of orders because every time the company is not getting 100 orders right or every time the company is not getting 80 tires so it is the it has to be the probability okay so we have to take the probability of that what is the probability of getting 100 tires or what is the probability of getting 80 tires or what is the probability of getting 50 tires order okay so how to solve this let's see now what a, the question is asking question is asking for the safest stock level that is what quantity of stock should be kept as the safety stock let's see the solution now okay this is the solution now this is again uh, the same way given in your icai module also okay now let's see first it says if we keep a safety stock of 100 units then what will happen if we are keeping a safety stock of 100 units right what will happen will there be any stock out no sir why because the maximum quantity demanded is 100 units and we are having the safety stock of 100 units so there is no point of stock out will the company have a stock out any point of time no sir right so stock out units is zero probability is zero stock out cost is zero expected stock out cost obviously zero sir what is the carrying cost now you are carrying these 100 units and the carrying cost per unit is 50 rupees that is given in the question right so that means 100 into 50 100 multiplied by 50 okay 5000 so the total cost is 5000 only this was easy now coming to the second point second one if you have a safety stock of 80 units right now what will happen if you are keeping a stock of 80 units what will happen sir up till this level up till this level there will be no stock out right if the demand of the tires is up to 80 units there will be no stock out because you are having the safety stock of 80 units but if the demand is of 100 units then you will have a stock out of 20 units isn't it then you will have a stock out of 20 units so stock out is 20 units this is in case you have a demand of 100 units there will be a stock out of 20 units what is the probability of this sir the probability of getting the 100 units order is only 0.02 right so the probability is 0.02 is that clear any doubts now what is the stock out cost stock out cost is stock out units multiplied by 150 this is given in the question sir 150 per unit right so if there is a stock out of 20 units that means you are losing on 3000 rupees but what is the probability of losing on this 3000 rupees that is only 2% that is 0.02 that means the expected stock out loss is 60 rupees only depending upon the 
probability that you have the probability is only 20 percent sir so according to the probability you will lose only 60 rupees only right this is expected stock out cost that means the probability multiplied by stock out cost <clears throat> clear what is the carrying cost what will be the carrying cost in this case sir how many units you are carrying now as a safety stock you are carrying 80 units as the safety stock so that means here you will be having 80 multiplied by 50 4000 what is the total cost sir 4000 is the carrying cost and what is the stock out cost 60 depending upon probability so the total cost is 4060 okay any doubts up till this point clear sir now the next scenario sir what is the next scenario sir in case we have a stock of 50 units so in that case what will happen sir what will happen in this case now if you have if you have a order uh, safe sorry safety stock of 50 units up till this point there will be no stock out right if you have an order up till 50 units there will be no stock out now if you have an order of 100 units then there will be a stock out of 50 units and if you receive an order for 80 units then you will have a stock out of 30 units here it is to be 30 are you getting the point now we have two scenarios at this level you can either have an order of 80 units or you can have an order of 100 units if you have an order of 100 units there will be a stock out of 50 units because you have the safety stock of 50 only right now if you are getting an order of 80 units again you will have a stock out of 30 units because you have 50 in the safety stock order is 80 that means you are short by 30 units right now what is the probability 0.02 for this 100 units this is for this is for 100 units and this is for 80 units right so what is the probability 2% and 5% what will be the cost sir 50 units multiplied by 150 7500 right and 30 units multiplied by 150 4500 units how this is calculated sir what is the number of units stock out multiplied by the stock out cost per unit that is 150 now we'll multiply with the probabilities right so probabilities 150 and 225 total is 375 that is the expected stock out cost clear now what about the carrying cost sir what about the carrying cost how many units you are carrying sir we are carrying 50 units so that means 50 multiplied by 50 this is 2500 2500 carrying cost plus 375 stock out cost total is 2875 clear now next if we keep 20 as the safety stock 20 units as the safety stock so up till 20 units no problem sir but sir if you get an order for 50 units there will be a stock out of 30 units if you get an order for 80 units you will have a stock out of how many units 60 units and if you get an order for 100 units you will have a stock out of 80 units right 80 60 and 30 this is in case of 100 units 80 units and 50 units clear there are two things try to understand don't confuse between the things there are two things one is the safety stock that is the stock that you are keeping in your go down that is 20 units the other thing is the number of units that are, you are receiving the order for if you receive the order for 100 units but you have only 20 units in the go down that means you will be short by 80 units you won't have 80 units to sell that will be a loss for you your customer will buy those 80 units from your competitor okay now we have to see the probability what is the probability that you uh, will be getting an order for 100 units that is only two percent five percent and then ten percent okay total stock out cost stock out units multiplied by 150 because 150 per unit will be losing on okay clear then the probability this is multiplied by probability this becomes the expected stock out cost now the carrying cost carrying cost is 20 units multiplied by uh, how much 50 rupees 50 rupees per unit 1000 plus 1140 is the stock out cost so 2140 is the total cost total carrying and total stock out cost okay 
Now, similarly, if you are having a safety stock of 10 units only, if you are carrying 10 units only, what will happen? Sir, if the order is for 100 units, you will have a stock out of 90 units. If the order is for 80 units, you will have a stock out you will have a stock out of 70 units. If the order is for 50 units, you will have a stock out of 40 units. And if the order is for 20 units, you will have a stock out of 10 units, right? So the probabilities, what are the probabilities that we have calculated? That's why I calculated this probability first, right? Okay, the calculated probabilities, total stock out cost, and then multiplied by probability gives you the expected stock out cost that we require. Then carrying cost is 10 multiplied by 5, only 500 uh, rupees, and the total cost is 2195. Similarly, for zero, if you're not carrying any safety stock, everything will be a loss. Everything will be a stock out cost, and the total cost will be 2700. In this case, the carrying cost will be zero in this case, right? Because you are not carrying any units. So this is how this question is to be solved. Clear? So we have to find out what is the optimum safety stock level, whether we should keep 100 units or 80 or 50 or 20 or 10 units, sir, it will be dependent upon the cost where the total cost is the minimum. Now you have to tell me where the total cost is minimum, sir, where the total cost is minimum. Can you tell me, sir, the total cost is minimum when we have the safety stock of 20 units. Right? So that means we should have a safety stock level of 20 units. Clear? See, uh, from the examination point of view, we can't say that this is very, very, very important topic. I have already told you that in material costing, the most important topics are the inventory levels and EOQ, right? But you should understand the concept here of the safety stock level, how we have to determine the safety stock level. Two things are important. One is the carrying cost. That means the safety stock that you will carry, right? The second thing is the stock out cost. That means the number of units that will be short. So the two things are important only that is what we have done so we are done with this question number 10 okay now in the next lecture we'll be covering some small topics one is abc and uh, just in time inventory jit will be discussing for that i have question number 14 i guess yes yes question number 11 and question number 14 with the two topics that is abc analysis of material and the second will be the just in time inventory right small topics uh, important from the theoretical point of view not from the practical point of view okay so we'll discuss these two topics in the next lecture what you have to do till now is uh, whatever we have covered you have to give just 10 to 15 minutes to revise all the topics right this is very important guys that you spend 10 to 15 minutes to revise all the top topics right so that you don't have to spend much of the time later on okay so We'll continue in the next lecture. See you guys in the next lecture. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much.